here I am, it's Sunday afternoon. I attempted to take my car for a drive yesterday with the kids. Went for a nice cruise around the block. Stopped at a shopping centre to get some money out of an ATM. Had no dramas. Unlocked the car, got back in the car, drove home. Parked the car under the house so I could use it today. And then when I went to put the battery on charge overnight, I discovered I was locked out of the car. Now, when I locked the car at work on Friday, that was the first time I'd locked the car since I bought the car. So I expected the locks would work. And I got back into my car, no dramas on Friday night. Drove home, no dramas. But last night, I couldn't get into the car because neither the passenger door or the driver's door would open or unlock. And I tried and tried, keying the lock, popping the button to get the car to unlock. It just wouldn't happen. I tried to pull the knob up using a zip tie. I managed to be successful once, but I couldn't get the knob to come up. So that failed as well. It was midnight by this stage. And I tried to jiggle the lock again to get the car to unlock. And it finally let me in. So today I need to figure out what's going on with my door locks that won't let me unlock the car once I lock it. Because there hasn't been a problem until now. So I'm going to lock my door. There you go, it's locked. Fortunately I have an alternative means of access. So the door is locked. I'm going to unlock the door. Unlocked. Oh, hey, it works, yay. Right. Left side passenger door is locked. Doesn't want to work. Left side passenger door is now unlocked. Oh dear, why oh, would you let me in? Why? Press it down, just press the whole thing down, the whole thing down goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright, we've got the door skin off, and as you can see, the car used to be that colour. I don't know what that colour is, some kind of teal colour. And now I need to figure out why my external door mechanism has stopped working. I haven't had this door card off yet. So hopefully it's something simple. Okay, it appears that the little arm has fallen out of its little slot. And from what I can gather, it needs a little retaining clip on it to keep it on the uh, latch to make the door work. And there's a zippy tie on the inside of the door down there, which I suspect is probably being used to hold it all together, obviously that's not very effective, so I'm going to have to think of another solution. That's an easy fix as long as I can figure out what I can use to hold that lever on. Yeah, it would be super awesome if my spare door handle had something on it I could use. And it doesn't. Right, these are readily available on eBay, so I'm going to steal the one from the lock, which I can easily get a zippy toy onto from there. Put this one into the door, and hopefully that will make my door handle work again. If I can just get it into the gap, I can, I can. Push it into the hood. This rod it looks like it's been butchered, which is why it doesn't want to work. <sighs> why didn't you want to go in there?
Alright, so I have stolen the rod retaining clip from the lock and I've put it on the door lever down there and modified the lever to accept the door retaining lock clip. So let's see if the door works. Ouch! Try that again. Yay! It works. Now, since I stole the clip from the barrel lock, I'm going to need to figure out a way to retain that, at least until I order my parts from eBay. I now have to figure out how to get the rod to attach itself to the key barrel, and I'm going to say that that solution will be adequate.